All right, so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk through um, setting up. I'm going to be working off of this grid that we had made uh, for the 960 pixel based fixed width design. So I'm going to actually design the fixed width design to show you uh, how I would set it up so that it would look like this in a fixed width. So I'm going to be using um, the original numbers here, uh, and I'm going to lay this out. And I'm not going to do a lot of talking except for where I really need to point out what I'm doing. Uh, and this will just be a quick reference so that if you're like, oh, how did he do that? Uh, you'll be able to see that. So the first thing that I need to do is uh, you'll notice that I've already got the boilerplate CSS uh, plugged in here to get, make sure that all the browsers are on the same set, on the same sheet of music, so, so to speak. It's the same thing as the reset.css. Uh, type style that uh, just resets all, uh, a lot of the different styles that uh, so that the default in the browsers is overridden by this and so that all of the different browsers that come to the page will display the this page as closely as possible to each other so I need to add a uh, new style sheet for this that will then override the the boilerplate stuff I'm going to use a, um, an existing style sheet that I've already got set up and uh, I just simply taken and uh, set up one with the same information that we've used um, to in the fluid so, so that I've already got set up the um, just the basics so I've got a little setting for each this is not going to use media queries because we don't use those at this point so this is just going to be laying it out as you would have fixed with So I come to my position, I set my width at 960. The location of these settings will be different in Dreamweaver. I'm using expressions here. Uh, you could do it by text if you wanted to code it. So I need to set the width and I need to set my margins. Okay, so the next thing I come to is my header. And I want to go back to my original diagram. And my header is 940 pixels and you'll notice that I've got a margin of 10 pixels on the left and the 10 pixels on the right. I'm doing 10 pixels and that's based upon the 12 column grid and then I need to do the positioning where I put in the the number of pixels and that was 940. Okay and you'll notice if you look carefully this side and that side are indented. You can sort of see the color on either side from where those um, margins have been applied and you'll notice that the nav because it sits inside of the header so it's nested the nav is nested with inside the header um, that's also got the same thing applied so it, it's inside that header so that's that context that we were talking about so the nav doesn't have the ability to go outside of that header and that's why when we are doing the math we are doing that based upon 940 instead of 960 because the only thing that's available to that is the 940. Okay, so now let, let's address the nav div. And in the nav I had 780 pixels and it's, uh, it's centered left and right at that uh, 780 pixels. So I'm going to have to add uh, some margins there and it's centered within the space that's there. So I come back over here, select my nav. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'll, I'll do the position. You can do this in any order. I'm just trying to do it systematically. My width is going to be 780 pixels because that's what um, came off of the exercise I did the other day. I'm going to want the box to have margins of right and left thinking forward that these widths are going to have to change to when we're not doing a pixel based one. I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, the standard approach for trying to um, center a column or a, a center a box within another box and that is using left and right auto. Now there is a third aspect of that that you have to use and that is you have to have the width play in there so if you want to have it centered within another uh, element you need to have a width set and then you use the left and right auto the nav is centered within the header
and there you see the main body is sitting in there so now in this next section we're going to get a little bit trickier uh, we've got the left center and right in here and they're going to have to be floating in order to uh, come up next to each other and actually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to float these other elements that I've done as well uh, so I'm going to float my header because when I go to the fluid style it's going to have to be able to do that I go into the layout for that okay so now I'm back to I've done my main body now I'm going to do my left center and right and it, as you recall they each take up 300 pixels so the first thing I'll do is give it 300 pixels left center and right will all get that um, but the margins are going to be different so these we this is when we need to go and really take a close look in this left one it butts right up against the main body container uh, so on the left one on the left margin there's going to be zero and on the right there's going to be ten and this is going to have to be floated to the left and that will allow the other boxes to come up around it and clear both and the reason we put that clear both in is that will prevent that from floating up past uh, any other content that's above it and you'll notice that we now have this over on the side the center has floated up next to it the reason it can do that at this point is because we haven't given it a width we're going to give it a width that will continue to allow it to do it but if there wasn't enough room over here the center would stay back underneath there so it, it's got the ability to float up and down and that's that's the principle that we're taking advantage of uh, in these responsive grids is the ability for uh, stuff to shift around to float around within the page in order to accomplish what we're trying to do okay so in this case going back to the diagram we have it it's going to have 10 pixels on each side and it's going to be 300 pixels and it is going to be floating okay so I am dealing with my center 300 pixels And you'll notice that that leaves what's actually a 20 uh, pixel space between the left and the center because we put 10 on the right side of the left container and 10 on the left side of the center container. And in this case, the same but the opposite as the left. We're going to have no gutter on the right side. We'll have a 10 pixel gutter on the uh, left side. It'll be 300 pixels and it'll be floated. And I'm floating all of these left. You could float it right if you wanted, but um, I'm floating them left just to to be consistent and also thinking forward. We're going to want it over on the left side when it goes into the responsive grid. So I've got the float. I've got the position. Now I need to set the margins up. And again, that was on the left-hand side. There's 10. On the right-hand side, there's 0. and we get our left center and right now the only thing we have left to do is the footer and the footer is the same set of settings as the header 940 pixels um, 
left and right floating or uh, left and right uh, each have 10 pixels and uh, we're going to need to make sure that that does not float up that it's um, it can float but it needs to be cleared because we don't want that do going up so we're going to put a float of left but we're also going to put a clear of both so that it won't float up into that uh, main div and that's because we have the 20 pixels 10 on each side okay so what we end up with is a site that has the header the nav setting in the header the main body which you can't really see because there's no content in it except for the left center and right uh, divs and then we have the footer and so then this would adjust to fit whatever content that you put in there um, I'm going to go ahead and save this and you'll see inside of our uh, CSS document all the settings that we just set are in there and that is what's providing with this look down here so what I've done is uh, just to to let you see what this will look like when we've shifted to um, a browser I've gone ahead and taken the same system the same page uh, and without changing those rules I've gone ahead and, and moved in some content so that you can see what we're where we're at here and what I've done is I've gone to the National Archives and I just grabbed um, the beginning of the Constitution and done a little bit of formatting of here um, for instance these are heading level twos and then I set um, some navigation in here so that you can uh, move around if it ever gets uh, shifted but because uh, we will be using navigation later on this is the page and when you reduce your size it doesn't change when you resize it and it gets below that 960 pixels what it does is it brings in scroll bars down here that allow you to scroll left and right. We've got a scroll bar on this side because uh, it doesn't fit in the page uh, vertically. When you get to the, down to 960 pixels, it doesn't adjust, but it gives you scroll bars. And if you've ever tried to use a page that uses scroll bars with the cell phone, it's a real pain. And so what we're going to do in the next section is we're going to go from this fixed width to a full width. Now, I do want to do one thing to demonstrate um, why I've done the the auto margins. You'll notice that however make big I make this, the um, the content stays over on the left side. And often, almost all the time, uh, I have students who are wanting to center their page within the the browser window. So the way that we do this, and you've seen me working with it before, the reason it's not doing it now is we've got this wrapper here and it's got a width set but it doesn't have any margin set and so I want to set it so that no matter what size the browser's um, viewport is that it is going to allow me to do what I want to do so I come over here or I want it to be centered so what I do is I come in here to modify style and you see me doing this uh, earlier in the position I'm sorry in the box uh, I don't have any margin set here, so I'm going to do right auto and left auto. And what that does is it says um, as long as you have a width for that. Now, you'll notice that I had specified the width of 960 pixels. As long as you have a width specified so that it knows how wide to make it, and that can be in pixels or percents or uh, other measurements, uh, then you do the left and right auto and what it does is it says okay take the 960 pixels out of the middle and split the difference on both sides uh, so that you can see what it's going to be so let me save all of these and publish my site and I'm going to use uh, in this case the publish all changed files so that they'll all move up when I come back to my browser 
Okay, so I just made a really common mistake in that I was working in the wrong style sheet. Um, I was trying to demonstrate to you this page and the CSS file that I was working on isn't the one that is attached to this. Uh, I'd used a different style sheet when I was doing that and done the same thing basically. So what I need to do in order to correct um, that uh, margin and everything is that I need to go into the correct um, style sheet and there it is there's a couple things that I need to correct here one is I've got this gutter set wrong and this I didn't do while I was demonstrating to you but um, in a I had done this as a test before I recorded so I need to change this margin and I wanted to set it so that the page set in the middle of the viewport and so now that I'm in the correct window I come into my wrapper and I'm going to edit my wrapper and what I want to do is I want to set the margins of left and right to auto so that it sits within the page and centers itself. So that's the only thing I need to do with the wrapper. And the other thing that I needed to do is in uh, this is from the demonstration uh, from a test that I didn't do in the demonstration. But what I had done is I had put um, a margin right of 10 pixels and a margin left of zero over in this right hand side, and that is the wrong way around. And and you will encounter this kind of issues. Uh, all the time but what you need to be able to do is look at um, what's going on and figure out why it's not behaving the way that you expect it to and in this case it wasn't behaving the way I expected it to because I was looking at the wrong page but so I've adjusted that I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna publish it then I'm gonna bring my browser back over here and I'm gonna reload so there's two things I want to correct one is that this little section of gutter here was on the wrong side so this should be 20 and it's only 10 this should be 0 and it's 10 uh, so I'm gonna reload this and the whole page should shift over uh, when I reload it because I set it to have the margins of auto so that's how those things work and it is actually working as it should. So that's all I've got for this time. In the next video we will start actually changing this into a fluid uh, responsive grid using the media queries.